Hey guys, civilian marksman here. Um, I'm going to do a short video here on uh, validating your trajectory using X ball. Um, been getting quite a few little questions about the ballistic software that we use, and I've noticed that this question here is the one that comes up the most. Um, tra validating your trajectory. Um, a couple previous videos I, I've mentioned that and I've kind of been getting the question marks about it so figured what else better to do than show you what I mean by it and hopefully it'll help you guys out there are there are a few programs out there that are using the same software I believe Night Force is the same as X-Ball and I've been told JBM is I personally don't own those two programs so I can't be a hundred percent sure but if it is, this should help you if you're having problems. So, what we're using here is a sample 308 Winchester load. It's uh, 175 grain at 2,600 feet per second. This is not my load. This is just the load that's in the uh, the memory bank here, the the library, the ballistic library. So, what I'm going to do first is go down here to the drop table. And I want you guys to look at the 700 yard data because that's going to be the one that's probably easiest to remember when all these numbers start popping up. 21 minutes. Lucky number 21. Remember that. Because out of everything I change on this trajectory validation, 700 yards I will not mess with. And to know if it works, when we come back, that should not be 21 minutes. It should have changed to something else, plus or minus, whichever way I decide to go with it when I start punching these make-believe numbers in. So, now that we've done that, I'm going to go down here and back out of here. You're going to find your trajectory validation tab down here in the options. And bring it up right there and that brings up this little nifty window you got the left hand column that's your target distance your center one is your sight adjustment used which basically however many minutes you dialed up to hit that particular yardage you're gonna stick that in that box there and then you got this third column over here which is uh, your impact point of impact plus or minus in inches uh, you don't have to enter data in all three of these columns. Uh, you just need one. You know, you, you obviously need your yardage that you're shooting at, but you can choose between inches or sight adjustment used. It's kind of going to depend on what kind of situation you're in. We tend to choose the sight adjustment used. Um, that's how I acquire my dope. And you hear a lot of guys use that word. They throw it around loosely on here. What's your dope? Dope stands for done on previous engagements. So if you haven't shot the yardage and you haven't acquired the data, it is not a dope. It's your, maybe your solution, you could call it, or just your site adjustment. So it's not a dope until you've done this step here. You need to confirm it. Once you've confirmed it, it's became your dope. So, what we're going to do, it's best to do three different yardages. You could do four or five. Um, I do three. It seems to work for the weapons I use. Obviously, if you're using a bigger weapon that's going to shoot out at further ranges, the more the merrier. But for a 308, I found that three works just fine and for some people one is just fine but I like to use three different uh, yardages to confirm this so for this we're gonna go 300 500 and 800 and remember what I said earlier remember the 700 yard data on the drop table before this even started it was 21 minutes okay so we're gonna go up here to the top one 300 and I'm going to change that data from 4.995 to 
to um, let's go 5.75 minutes then we're going to go down here instead of 12.1 minutes we're going to go 13.50 minutes instead of 26.5 we're going to go 27.75 minutes. We're going to calculate now. Down here it says 2600 feet per second on the muzzle velocity. Now that we calculate this, it's calling it 25.19. That's huge. You may not think that's a lot, but <laughs> at a longer range believe me that is huge so we're gonna go ahead and apply that we're gonna back out of here we're gonna bring up our drop table and the first place we're gonna go is right here to 700 yards remember what I said lucky 21 at 700 yards it's now calling for 22.75 minutes of angle right the muzzle velocity it's going to go ahead and recalibrate all of your yardages from your side end to, well, to as far as your program will let you go. This one particular one, I think, we got it out to 2,000 yards. So, hopefully that helps you. Um, I'm going to show at the end of this video, I went ahead and uh, did a screen capture on the laptop of how you would do that using the desktop version of this because I'm sure if you have X, if you have X-Ball you got the desktop version as well same with Night Force I'm pretty sure you get the desktop version too so you know hopefully this helps you guys out um, I would consider this this is what once you've gone through these steps this is now a dope card um, Obviously, there can be more tweaking done to it. You can go to some of these other yardages that you haven't shot and confirm that. You know, you want to confirm that dope. You know, I would go to 600 yards, dial up 1750, and see if it hits. If it doesn't hit, dial in on the trajectory validation page, you know, add 600 to that and, and Put in the data where it hits. You know, you, you got to develop a custom dope card for every single weapon. You cannot rely on just your chronograph and your muzzle velocity to give you all of the data you're going to need to engage that target at all different ranges and and engage them accurately. Um, I don't. I don't carry a data book with me everywhere I go. Um, I got a couple dope cards, and you know they got a couple different temperature readings and barometric pressure readings. But you know this is my dope card. You know I can change everything right here on the fly and be good to go, um, provided that. You know, I'm sounding like a broken record here. You have to validate your trajectory. You're not going to do it with just a chronograph. I, I don't care how much money you spend on the chronograph. It's it's accurate, but it ain't as accurate as doing this. You know, it's only telling you what that bullet's doing coming out of the muzzle. You need to know what that bullet's doing at 500 yards, 800 yards. A chronograph isn't going to tell you that. So, you know, guys, hopefully this helps you out. Um, if this video, if this video helped you out, you know, comment on it and we'll do some more because there's a lot more that this ballistic program does and I'd be happy to help you guys out.